It is the second day of the new year and all still seem to be under control as far as the new year's crime is concerned. Now to give us a brief update of how it all went since the new year's eve. We joined on the line by Nampol's Acting Inspector General, Major General Joseph Shikongo. Good afternoon to you, Major General. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to News at One. Could you give us a general overview of patrols that took place at the national level? Yes, uh, thank you very much, and uh, Happy New Year to all Namibians. Uh, we, we have just ended the New Year, and uh, just on the 31st, we ordered all our, uh, all our regional commanders were directed to conduct the robust police deployment and operations in all 14 regions. And I can tell you that that has been all done. All the police officers uh, were deployed uh, in most of the regions. This is the information that we are getting from the regional commanders. And I led an operation here in the capital uh, until midnight. Uh, it was just we only did our debriefing um, early morning hours. I can tell you, although we were saying uh, commas or vendu people were not, were not in, so there were a number of people that were around, especially the problem we had was the problem with the clubs. Most of the clubs really were, were very full. And uh, we, we have uh, spoken to people, and uh, we ordered them to disperse, to leave the, whatever they were doing, because the number of gathering is only 200. And uh, these people were probably too close to 2,000 or more, to more than 2,000 that were converging in some of the clubs, especially in town. Mm -hmm. So in other regions, the, the information we are getting from the regional commanders, the regional commanders such as Zambezi, uh, Kavango, both Kavango West and East, and Rongo and Wena, uh, Omsati, Karas, so all the, all the deployment were made, including our tourist area, which is Swagopmund. Okay. Better uh, general. And Walsh Bay. Yes. Um, as, as far as you, you just mentioned uh, ha having an issue with club owners, um, and we do know that you'd like to meet with nightclub owners during next week. What, what is the agenda of that meeting? The agenda is just to, is, is, is in effect to engage them. Because when we went there, we, they were just quizzing the blame to people that, uh, the organizers, and they were telling us they were different between the club running of the club and then those people who hired the, the, the DJ. And the most of the DJ that were playing were from South Africa. So we just want to have an understanding to set up some kind of, uh, of SOPs. How are they going to operate in the future? Whenever they have an event, how do they coordinate the event? Because okay. they are the owners of those clubs. Just to ensure that whatever is coming is there, they give the SOP that, yes, yeah. it's a club, and we only require about not more than 200 okay. people. An and unidentified man was stabbed at an intersection in Ventux Korean Cup uh, area on New Year's Eve. What have you established regarding the stabbing? Yes, the, I just spoke to the, to the regional crime coordinator. The, the, the person, the, the suspect is not yet arrested. I think he fled some way. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, the same day we managed to get the knife, which was used in uh, stabbing the other person. And luckily there was also another person who was also related to the, uh, to the victim. And that, uh, that, that accompanied the victim to the hospital after the ambulance was called in. Mm -hmm. And uh, the police investigation is ongoing. The scene of crime attended the scene. We have uh, taken all the evidence and information. So the case is on. And uh, we are on a money hand to ensure that this suspect is arrested. Any final remarks, Major General? Yes. In, um, as I said, there were a lot of uh, issues such as the, um, such as the suicide. We had also some media that reported, but we will combine the, the full report at some point. And I am just appealing people as they are returning to the various destinations today to drive safely. I've already spoken to a number of regional commanders, and the, road, the roads are so full. People, they must just try to adhere to the traffic load um, regulations and, and, and the laws. Nampol's Acting Inspector General, Major General Joseph Shikongo, we appreciate your time with us. Thank you.